To produce the labels, choose your label format. Click on Produce Labels. It will bring you to the print barcode screen. Click on Produce Labels at Avery. This will take you to the outside Avery labels. Click on Edit All. Click on Import Data Mail Merge and choose the fields that you want. These are the fields from your templates from Cut Time. You can click on the boxes of the fields that you wish to not have displayed on your labels. So here we have just category, item, model, and serial number that will appear on our labels. Now we can click and drag to put our fields into order that will show up onto our label. When we're satisfied, we just click Next. This now we can choose to do all labels or just one at a time. Today we are going to do all labels at once. We click Finish. This now produces our label. We are going to now add our barcode. So we click on QR barcodes, add barcode or QR code. We are going to add from a spreadsheet. Currently there is no barcode there. So we are going to edit our details and click back onto barcode. Barcode now appears. We drag it over into the field. This now produces the barcode number that is in our cut time spreadsheet. If you notice, we move it around, it gives us a red error where it says safety. This one also, we can arrange the size of it. If we go too small, where our barcode reader will not pick it up, it will give us an error message at the bottom of the page that says this is too small. If we want to edit any of our text, we can click here and we can add things such as our school name, you can bold things, you can change color of any of the text, any kind of edits you would like to make to the text, you can do that. I'm going to check my labels to make sure that everything is set correctly for each of them. Now I can print them myself or I can also have Avery print them for me. Here I notice that the number and the school name are underneath the barcode. So I'm going to go back and click on customize so that I can edit this. So I'm going to put a space here and move my barcode down. I'm going to click on preview again and go back to that page and make sure that everything is clear and that I can read everything on my barcode before I print them. Now I see that everything is good. Nothing overlaps. I can now click print.